you're looking at the side entrance of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. It's fabulous. We've given our young man who arrived in Los Angeles from Saigon several hours ago time for a rest from his long flight. He's going to be coming out of that entrance any second now. His name is Dick Hughes. He's 28 years old, comes originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In looking at his face, could you construct his story? Could you imagine what sights he's seen, what other eyes he's looked into? My brain! Girls! On my brain! On my brain! What did he say? Something about his brain being eaten out? Well, the man's drunk, obviously. There isn't a mark on him, not a mark. Oh, my God. Let him speak. Maybe he's telling me. I'm glad to see you. You've uh, been in South Vietnam for yes, over yes. three years now, so you may not know that I'm back doing This Your Life on the air. Ah, yeah. Oh. You're really here in Los Angeles so that I can say to you, Richard Hughes, this is your oh life. Oh, my God. <laughs> he has no brain. Skull is completely empty. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. I'm looking at numbers, Lieutenant Van Buren. Grand Theft Auto down 14%. Burglaries down 11%. You shut down a number of quality of life conditions in your precinct. It's some excellent work. Thank you. Then I look at your clearance rate for homicides, and a whole different picture emerges. Come on, Lieutenant. Talk to your chief. What's the problem here? If it means culling the cold case files, you get that clearance rate up, or we'll make a guarantee. We'll guarantee you lose your command. Get the picture? Yes, Chief. Presenting Docker's Stretch. Chào, chú nghe con Stephanie nói là cháu muốn đi làm cảnh sát phải không? Ý cậu muốn nói đến Stephanie, người duy nhất đến dự đám tang của cha tôi. À, cái con Stephanie đó đó. Ồ, cậu ấy của việc đó không có gì để nói. Cha muốn bôi bác cái gia đình để phải. Khi nói đến family, cụ thể ai là người cậu muốn nói đến? Cậu đấy à? Cha muốn đặt câu hỏi cho mọi vấn đề. Cậu biết không, đôi khi tự hỏi mình, đó là điều tốt cho cậu đấy. Tại sao tôi là asshole? Con tôi có mess không? Có phải vợ tôi là money cropping whore không? Ý tôi muốn nói, đấy là những câu hỏi có phải không? Tôi có bao giờ đối xử tốt với người chị đang chờ chết của tôi? Hay là tôi chỉ đang đóng kịch? Cháu có cần tiền để chôn mẹ không? Khi mẹ tôi chết, tôi và cậu không còn quan hệ gì nữa. Come say hi to your son and his new fiance. Nobody told me you were engaged. Why am I always the last one to know these things? My own son. No, Dad, we're not engaged. Oh. Come on in. We're just finishing dinner. Well, can I get you to a couple of drinks? Uh, no, actually. I uh, I'd like to have one. Oh, all these damn peas. You like peas. Uh, I hate peas. Harold tells me you're a painter. Not really. I'm a graphic designer. Oh, what a coincidence. Harold used to draw all the time when he was a kid. You never told me that. Oh, yeah. Constantly. <laughs> As a matter of fact, one time I bought him a whole box of crayons, and he ate them all. As it turned out, they're all full of lead. Poor guy spent the whole summer in the hospital. Never was the same. <laughs> Dad, uh, that, that never happened. Oh, what are you telling me? I made the whole thing up? Oh, no. I think he's right, honey. We saw that last night on television, remember? ER. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, Harold never drew as a kid. He never was a creative type. Well, that's not true. 
It's Profaci. Hospital just called. Mayor just took a turn for the worse. Maybe our last chance to talk to him. We won't be able to talk for a few days. We had to open him up again, but uh, he's stable for now. What happened? Pulmonary embolism. Once we got inside, we figured out why we missed a bullet the first time around. You missed a bullet? Oh, what can I tell you? It didn't show up in the x-rays. So that makes four bullets you took at him? That's right. I hope we have them all now. On my brain. Yes, but this isn't your standard plea bargain. He wants a walk on three murders and several A felony counts of narcotics distribution. For information that may turn out to be worthless, that may not even exist. What if it does? What if someone blows up a building and we didn't do anything about it? We're talking about a potential scourge on the order of crack cocaine. Well, arresting Avakian is not going to prevent oxycodone from being the next designer drug. There's always someone ready to step in. The same would be true about people who black market chemicals. Well, if you put this to your constituents, I think I know which one they would choose. We're talking about three flesh and blood murder victims here. Well, none of us has the corner on the greater evil here, Nora. And no one can force the district attorney's office to do something it doesn't want to do. Championship jacket. 